Hello, my name is Doug, and today we're going to cover Photoshop's Layer Mask. A layer mask is something that's a very powerful tool that will allow you to apply touches to your image in just moderation, wherever you would like to have the changes made to. What I'm going to show you here is this this uh, image right here is one that had I did some match color to it and I enhanced the color on it. But for this demonstration of the layer mask, I'm going to choose an area that I just want to highlight and I'm going to leave the rest of the image the way I had originally. So let me show you here. This is what the image looks like before the color enhancement. And then this is what it looks like after the color enhancement. Since the red is very easy to see in the horse head nebula here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enhance and only show the red part of this image and leave the the background the, the duller faded color. So the first thing we have to do is select the image that we're going to apply which in these layers right here you can see I have the top layer highlighted here and I'm going to go under layer and I'm going to go to layer mask and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all. Now what that has done is it's put this little black screen over the image and what you're seeing right now is it's basically covering up this this image that we have on the top there. So remember black conceals and white reveals and what I'm telling you that for is you, you have to use a paintbrush on this layer mask in order to bring out the color from there. Right here you can see on your toolbar that it's it's white and black. You can toggle back and forth between it. If we paint with a white brush, then it's going to reveal or paint onto this black mask here. So I've got the black brush, I mean the white brush selected here. I'm going to select one of the brushes and to make the, uh, the brush larger or smaller, you can use the open or close square bracket. So what I'm going to target, like I said, was the uh, the red area of the nebula. So I've got the paintbrush selected. I'm just going to start painting. And as you can see, it's like cutting a hole in the black mask right here. And that black hole is bringing out the image color of this enhanced uh, color that we had uh, earlier. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and kind of like paint over just the red area. I, I wanted to just highlight this bright, brilliant red right here. And I want to leave the rest of the image alone. Now what you can see here is there's really kind of a hard break. And if you do this with most images and you do a, a, a paint like this, you're going to see this very hard break. Well, there's a way that you can do, which is called, uh, something you can do called a Gaussian Blur. What that'll do is it'll blur this mask so it blends in a little bit easier. So we're going to go to uh, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to reduce this down so you can see it here. But that's that area that we painted out in the mask. So what, what we'll do is if we give it a more of a blur, it becomes you can see this mask uh, becomes blurred and it blends it more. So if we make it a little bit uh, bigger, the, the, the radius of the pixel is bigger, it will then give it a more gentle blend to it. So what we'll do now is I'm going to just say OK and apply that. And now we've applied a layer mask and blended this layer mask to an area of a color that we that we wanted on our image. I'll show you the difference before and after. This is what it was before. And then I applied a layer mask to bring out the color in a certain area. This, like I say, this tool is very useful when you need to bring out certain details of your image. I wanted to remind you again that you can win a coffee mug with your winning image at myastroimages.com. It's very easy to join. You just click on the forums and once you get to the forums you go to the monthly imaging contest. There click on the current month and enter your image into the contest. If you win your monthly image then you'll be entered in the Wall of Fame and the Wall of Fame will give you a chance to win a coffee mug.
Thanks for watching this and hope to see you again.